All right, here are my SkyZone goggles with the diversity antennas, and I've changed out one of the standard antennas, these, these guys here that you get with it. It's actually this one, I think. Yeah, this one. Um, these little jobbers, which aren't that great, according to most people. So what I did was I left one of them on for sort of its, its universal ability, and then I put a clover leaf on, and these are um, from Fox Tech. They cost almost nothing. The only problem, and you can see right there, it says RXRP SMA, which is reverse polarized SMA. And the reverse polarized SMA just means that the uh, the pin in there may or may not be sticking out of it. And uh, so that the problem is is that the, the the goggles take one kind, and this transmitter takes a completely opposite kind. So you can see this has got the RP. SMA TX for transmitter so that goes straight onto the transmitter and unfortunately this one does not go straight on it has to go to an adapter a polarization changer so uh, at some point maybe I'll get a version of this that uh, is the right polarization the other thing you have to make sure is that the way the clover leaf works which let me see if I can get this off with one hand that its circle is in the correct direction to match with the the other one uh, since these were bought as a pair, I'm assuming they match. But uh, if you mix these with someone else, you may get really poor range if you don't have the right kind of uh, uh, handedness, I guess. Um, so anyways, I have these uh, extra antennas that I don't use. I just get rid of them. Uh, I keep them in my bag just in case. And uh, so that's the goggles uh, antenna that I set up. I do plan on getting the correct thing. And I also put a right angle on here so you can... Uh, you can get the get the right angle connector to make it easier so you don't have to worry about bending this thing because it, it bends you could bend it but it tends to just kind of work its way back and it just gets in the way so uh, it stays nicer this way now the battery um i mounted into the to the to the strap the strap you actually have to flop it because th this uh, adjustable part is normally on the right side and so you just swap it you can see there's a little slot that you can slip it out of right in there and the same thing on the other side. So you just flip flop it upside down and then you can put the battery in there. Now the, the problem is this connector, which is your typical JST connector, isn't gonna go into that power hole. You could try and shove it in and it didn't work. So I made this little thing, cause they, make, they give you one that's about 400 miles long. Uh, I made one of these. Radio Shack has this connector here. Um, it's a particular kind, I'll put that in the notes, which one it is, cause it took me a little while to figure out exactly which one fits right into the, to that hole and then you know just put it together and that'll power up your thing off of a two cell which minimizes the overheating of the unit the unit can take a bunch of different voltages but i tend to stick with the two cell